Um, okay. Uh, so let's talk about the big story that came out on Super Bowl Sunday morning from Mike Garofalo of the NFL Network. Um, you know, I know some Dolphins fans were like clutching their pearls shocked. I'm, I don't know why you're shocked. This is kind of what's expected, that Tua Tunga to Valoa and the Miami Dolphins want to agree to a contract quickly, get it out of the way, and that Tua's side is looking to be paid in the neighborhood of $55 million per season on average. However you work it out, front load it, back load it, when it's all said and done, that's what they want in the neighborhood of what Joe Burrow makes in or around $55 million per year. And, of course, if you were shocked, I don't know why, because his agent's job is one job, get him the most money possible. And Tua is not, let me repeat this again, I've said it 100 times, I'll say it 101, is not going to give them a discount. They tried to replace him twice. Actually, three times. Twice with Brady, once with Watson. If you think there's any goodwill from two and his agents, oh, Dolphins, what? No. It's like, okay, I want the money. And here's the deal. Tua has 100% of the leverage. Miami has none. Why? Because Miami's so far over the salary cap that by March, what, 12th or 13th, whatever the day is at the start of the new league year, they have to get under. The easiest way for Miami to get under is to give two up a new long-term deal, lower his cap number from $23 million to a much, much smaller amount this year, kick out the money on the back end of the deal, and then Miami might have a puncher's chance of keeping some of these guys that they probably don't want to lose. So two has got all the leverage. He's got time on his side. Because here's the deal. If Tua gets, maybe it's not 55 minutes, maybe it's 50, 49, 48, 45, whatever, he'll be happy if he signs it in February, March, April, May, June, July, or August. He don't care as long as he gets it. The Dolphins, on the other hand, know they got to be under the cap by the second week of March, and they need that money now. So this is why both sides want to get done quickly. We can understand from Miami's side, and two is like, well, since I got the leverage, yeah, pay me now. <laughs> Why not? So, um, and stop with the Justin Fields. I did a rant last week. They're not trading for Justin Fields. They're not going to sign Kirk Cousins. Two is their guy. Greer drafted him. McDaniel has propped him up for two years, said he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. They've hitched their wagon to him. They're not moving on from him. As the kids say, they're going to pay him the bag. So if this doesn't work out, yeah, as fans, we suffer because he's going to be here four, five, six years, however long, before they can move on, and the contract might be a drain on the cap. But for Greer and McDaniel, they'll probably be fired in a year or two. Next guy's problem, not us. So that's how the NFL works. I know a lot of Dolphins fans, we see in the chat, you cannot pay him that much. I agree. I would not pay him that much. That's my thought. Nobody cares what I think. In reality, they're going to. Or it might not be 55. That was just a number for the report. It might be 48 or 47.5. What it's going to be in that neighborhood. Why? Because they have to. So if you say Miami can't do it, they can't do it. And if you think that's going to happen, you're nuts. Guess what, folks? It doesn't matter what you think. It's going to happen. <laughs> so that's where I am on this two a thing. I know a lot of fans are upset. I get it. I'm not happy about it, but you're going to get it. That's just the point. 